everyone thanks for tuning into my channel today I will be doing a product review and it's actually my first product review um, the product that we will be talking about is this covergirl queen all day flawless I hope you can see that and the color that I have is golden honey and in Mac I normally wear NC50 well I find that it is a little bit orangey or a little bit dark for me but that's the color that I wear um, and it works for me alright so for this foundation now I'm actually wearing it today I've been wearing it since about 12 o'clock and it's now 4.17 um, and this is about my fourth time wearing this foundation the first time that I tried it it looked a little bit um, light but because um, it's summer holidays now and I'm mostly at home I'm not as dark as I normally am during summer because I'm not up and down and uh, out in the sun much so it matches my skin pretty good um, the first time I wore it is that I'm looking over there it's because I'm actually filming from outside and uh, somebody was passing so that is why I'm actually looking over there much on my veranda because the lighting is pretty good out here all right so um for this foundation now i'm going to insert pictures to show you of um the times that i wore it and what it looked like the first time i wore it i did not wear it with any concealer and it covered pretty well but as i said my skin was a bit dark darker the first time i wore it so it looked a bit light on my skin but not ashy but i could see that i was wearing um foundation um the consistency of this foundation it is not too watery um like the l'oreal true match but it is not as thick as the revlon color state is somewhere in between not too light but not too watery and the one thing that i find is that it dries pretty quickly so as soon as you pump it out you need to start um, blending it and buffing it into your skin because it will dry and that will leave it a bit streaky if you are not careful but overall it covers pretty well and it wears pretty well and as I said before I've been wearing it for a couple of hours now and as you can see I'm not oily and usually I'm very oily in my usually I'm oily in my t-zone by now and it's not as if I was sitting in um, an AC environment. I was actually um, in a meeting and there was no um, fan or anything there. So it's holding up pretty well. And one of the things that I love with this foundation is that even though the first time I wore it, it looked a little bit light on my skin. Um, I find that it looks like skin. It does not look cakey or heavy even though it covers well. I would not say that this foundation well it's buildable so it can give you a full coverage but it's more of a medium coverage and I've done video with videos um, not wearing any makeup so you um, you probably um, have noticed that I do have some amount of um, acne scarring and other um, hyperpigmentation over my nose and um, certain other areas on my cheek hair and it covers it pretty well but it does not cover it as well as I would want it to so for those area I use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to just um, cover up to give me a better coverage for those of you who so overall it's a pretty good foundation um, it is long wear and it stays in place and it covers very well and the consistency is good so i think that i will be using i'll be reaching for this a little bit more everybody knows i love my revlon color stay but i'll be using this a whole lot more because i really really like it thank you for watching and don't forget to follow me on instagram and to like my facebook page